Devil species, devil species, unknown misery, unknown misery, cryptic, cryptic. You roll with cheeky rappers now, we rebuke them. You roll with picky lovers now. Ooh. What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Cardio confessions about lagging muscles, chest specifically. All right, check it out. This comes from man Ryan, Action Jackson. Check it out. I've been cutting for a few months now. I realize that my chest is really lagging now that the fat is gone. Would training my chest three times a week or more frequently, in general, do anything for me while I'm a cut while I'm on a cut? Or is bulking with a calorie surplus the only thing that would help? Well, it doesn't say how fat you are. But as John Balick from Iron Man and also Lee Haney said, you can't flex fat. Here's another thing we get into before I get into you targeting your chest specifically. People think that training for bulking and training for cutting are magically delicious, are magically different. I was thinking about Lucky Charms. Here's the thing, dog. They're not. When you train, you want to go for overload, progressive overload and stimulus. Whether you're cutting on a deficit or bulking on a surplus, it's not going to happen. Also, if, you're, if you were over fat, you know, the thing is, you're probably still kind of fat. You have a lagging chest, you also get them newbie gains, because my guess is you might be skinny fat. It's a guess, not an insult, just a guess. I have no pictures. You don't need to bulk with a caloric surplus to put on muscle, especially if you're coming from an over fat state. I've seen a lot of obese people, or even skinny fat, or beginners who aren't necessarily developed in the muscle area put on muscle while losing fat. I've seen it also in advanced trainers. Not so much really advanced trainers. Like you're not gonna see someone like a, a Doug Miller or Ryan Doris diet down for a show and add 15 pounds of muscle while dieting. Um, it's just not gonna happen. But if you're a newbie, there's a good chance you might be able to put on some muscle and lose some fat. So that addresses the first point. One is whether you're bulking or cutting, if you're over 12% body fat, don't start a bulk. If you're over 15, you need to cut. Because uh, that's, in my opinion, you know, if you're looking at being a physique enthusiast and having a good looking body, that's, that's a little too fat for my liking. No offense, but that's just my personal preference as a trainer and also as a, as a coach, I mean, and also as a bodybuilder and a guy who likes to look good. So that said, as far as you personally, what I usually like people doing if they have a lagging body part, it depends on the body part. Right now I'm hitting legs, hamstrings three times a week, and quads two times a week. I also might have advanced recovery abilities over you. Insert troll comment here. Um, I'd recommend focusing on chest two times a week. Your stronger body parts, do them less often. Do them less frequently. If you train four times a week, make sure you get chest in there twice. Hit the other body parts one time per week. That'll be your focus. But maybe it's just in your mind or maybe you've just been watching too many episodes with David Hasselhoff running on the beach on Baywatch. I guarantee you, if you probably sent me pictures, I think your legs will probably be lacking as much as your, your chest. To that, I recommend an overall training program that'll help you. John Otis Hollywood has his training program, Gospel, which I think will help tremendously, as well as I have the program found in fatlossfactorbook.com. Fatlossfactorbook.com. You also get a free copy of the book if you order a tub of that MTS Nutrition Way at tigerfitness.com. So yes, training with more frequency is great, but before you do that, before you do that, have someone like myself, um, anybody but your mom, sister, or girlfriend, give you an honest assessment of if your chest is really bad or if you just look like crap overall. I'm, de I'm dead serious, I mean, a lot of people think they have a lagging body part when indeed they just have a lagging body and they just need to lose some fat and put on some muscle. Again, that's not me being a prick, that's just me being real. So that said, I'm on my way. Just got done doing a, uh, a lot of back up 50 sets of back, not like 40, 40 sets of back, Something some like sets that. of arms. It was really good. That's it, cardio confessions. Bringing up that lagging chest. So yes, frequency does help. And that's why I'd recommend if you train four days a week, getting it, getting it at least two, two times a week. But first understand, 
you might not even have a weak chest. Alright? Because having small boobies is not a game. Yeah, we recruit them, we ain't no blind sheep, so we teach for the movement. Look out, look out for one another, look in.